start off by going to openai.com. On the left, hit API platform. And the page always changes and it's super confusing, but right now hit start building in the center of the page. Hit sign up, very top right, and then you can sign up with an email address, but I like logging in with my existing Google account. It's just way easier. Once you're in, you wanna create an API key. Who knows where that is? So search in the top left for key. What you want is to get to the API keys page. Top right, hit create new secret key. Give it any name you want. I'm just gonna do default project, this is a test. And then once you hit okay, it will display a key. Copy this key because it only shows it once. I'm gonna use it right away, so I'll put it into a notepad here. Then I can hit done. Although I can always create a new one, that's no problem. To use it, and I can use it right away because OpenAI is going to give me $5 of credit. So I don't even have to put in my credit card right away. But to use it, I'm gonna make a new project folder. I always keep my projects in an apps folder in the C drive. So give this new project any name you want if you're just testing it. Create a new Python file. You can create a new text file. Give it a name with a .py extension. Open that file up. I use VS Code. And then in the description of this video, I have a bit of Python code that you can paste in. I'm only temporarily using this key, so I'm gonna put a key value directly into the code. So you can paste it in that string here, file, save, and we can try running this. Um, open up your command line interface. I like PowerShell. On Windows, you can always search CMD and open up command prompt. I always get back to my C drive by typing CD backslash into my apps folder with cd space apps and then cd space my new project. Once I'm in here, I need to install a Python client library to call OpenAI. I can install that with pip space install space OpenAI. Just give this a minute to install here. Once that's done, you can run your Python script with Python space and then the name of your Python file for me, openai-test.py. Hit enter and then it will prompt me for a prompt to send to OpenAI. So I can type in anything here. This is just to display that our Python script works. Normally your Python would be holding a prompt already that it sends whenever some activity happens. But I send this in my command line, it calls the API and then outputs the response in my CLI. If I ask it a follow-up question, it doesn't remember anything about it. Every API call only has the context within the prompt or some other structure that you put into that call. I'll show you how to do that in another video, but you're now working with the OpenAI API from Python. Congratulations.